Hello and welcome back. This is Ala from VFX Arabia. And finally, today I'm releasing my tool, the Fragnoiser. And as you've seen from Facebook posts, this tool uh, job is to add uh, details to your internal faces of your fragments. And my intention from the beginning was for this tool to work in conjunction with Thinking Particles Exported Mesh, as in this example, you see this dynamics. And you want to add some details to those boring edges. So I'll do a quick demonstration on how this tool works and then we're going to go deep down into the details of every parameter and button. Okay. First of all, we're going to select the volume mesh. Grab some pieces for the sake of visualizing. Bring up the details of point 3. My strength scale. Once you are happy with the result, hit restore. Then you have all your frags and hit bake. It will bake those parameters into this mesh. As simple as this. It's not the fastest thing on earth, but um, a speed is well acceptable. Let's hit reset. And we have the displacement mode. It's gonna, this one is going to convert your vertex selection into a vertex color for the sake of masking or displacement or bump or if you want to add um, layer material layer okay done select mesh and display look at this piece of chocolate let's create a material for them and grab it as you can see the vertex color works here as a mask for the bomb displacement and diffuse color let's check only the color for now you can increase the details if you want by increasing the number of vertex let's check the displacement Reason for two size. Let's say five is fine. Oh, pay attention that this tool will generate your material as uh, will give for the diffuse channel number one, for the bomb channel number two, and for the displacement channel number three. So I changed it to one for the time being. Take some time to calculate displacement. Well, not bad. Just spend some time on the parameters. You'll achieve your desired result. Okay. So now let's go deep into the parameter of those. Bring the original file. Okay. The idea behind this script it uses the volume select method. So you need to have your original mesh before fragmenting to place or an approximate mesh of it. Oh, let's grab some pieces here so you select it and it applies a push modifier that you can control from here let's select some pieces visualizer this volume select defines the vertex selection that will be affected by the noise modifier and we have a subdivision increase the mesh resolution as you can see here and for better result I advise you to make sure that the internal faces has not smooth 
And another thing that your mesh or your frags scale is already reset. It means 100 because subdivide modifier is affected by the scale of your mesh. So it's better to be 100. Elsewhere, you just you can reset xform your subject by this option. So this is for the uh, resolution, the scale of your noise, the strength of it. This is the soft selection, fall off. Once you're happy, you hit the reset. Why there's two modes? Because this one is uh, the vertex is still not baked. So if you move your mesh, as you can see here, the selection will move. Why there's two modes? Because this one is faster. It turns off the uh, the modify panel and show you the results fast. This one needs to store the selection and then add the noise modifier and then delete the volume select. That's why. So you reset, select your frags, or part of them, it's faster. If your volume select is among the selection, it will give you a message to make, your, make sure your volume is not in the selection. So it's working fine. The selection is already stopped. In case you don't want um, you don't want it to be a heavy mesh, you want to depend on the displacement point, you're still able to do this, you can reset and the same way, do a displacement, decide the depth. This button will convert the, your selection into a vertex color. The fully selected vertex will be white and then go gradually into black. Um, this will decide on what channel. Be careful, sometimes your texture is already on one of those channels, like one or two. So change it, for example, to three or, or whatever you want. It will bake it. Once you bake it, it converted into uh, editable poly. It's not reversible, sadly, so be careful. This is, should be the last thing you do. There's two parameters here, the no subdivision and preserve selection. Let's say you did the bake it with noise and you still want to use the displacement um, and you're happy with the selection result here. So you have your selection and your match is already subdivided. So there's no need for subdivision and so on there's no need for for you to go into displacement mode and decide the range when you have those two options already selected you can jump already directly into the big selection oh, this one doesn't work. after you finish baking you can create the material And as I've mentioned before, I made it automatically to put the channel 1 for diffuse, 2 for bomb, 3 for displacement, in case you want to do uh, multiple channels for different ranges. And what's beautiful about this is you can generate multiple masks and do multiple layer using a composite map. Let me show you here. Okay, now subdivision, I need to change the range, let's say, here. And make it to channel number two. So you can see number two is much narrow. Put this to number two. Let's see what kind of results this would give us. Oh, sorry. 
This one is not composite. This one should be color correct. The black color. So as you can see here, you can do multiple layer of materials. Like inside of concrete, you have like concrete, dirt, or something here inside. And if you want to control the range of um, the widespread here, it's pretty easy by using a trick. You can use the output map, this one. And play with the curve here. Let's make the white less. And like this, you get hard edges here. Or you can do the reverse, expand it. The final section after the material is the emergency, where in case the script crashed and you ended up with fragments that have modifier noise, modifier noise of divide, and you want to delete them, just rerun the script and uh, because the restore button will, those restore button will not work anymore. Um, that's because uh, your fragments are stored in arrays and when the script goes, those arrays will go. So you just select, let's zoom, those are your fragments, which restored and it will delete everything. And in other cases, if you ended up um, got forbidden when your modify panel stopped functioning, it's like when you select uh, an object on anything and you don't see anything here because uh, the modifier panel is suspended, you just hit the resume modify panel here. And uh, frankly, it rarely happened to me, so just in case. And that's it, let's wrap it up. Um, you have your volume select, you select your volume first, in some chunks, you do a visualizing mode, you set up your parameters. Once you're happy, you just hit restore and bake it. Or if you don't like the result here, you can do it with displacement or both together. It's like you're happy with the noise and but you need uh, a material, you're still able to do this. You have your solution.